Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to create Notion database items for new Calendly invites. So the idea is that if someone schedules an event in Calendly, a page will be automatically created in Notion. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Calendly and Notion. So that is why I will be using an integration and automation software called as Fabric Connect that integrates Calendly and Notion. The best part here is a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so this is my Calendly account and this is my Notion profile. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, schedule a booking as a dummy invitee and we will check whether a page will be created in Notion or not. So let us begin the example. We have a booking called as Hatha Yoga. So let me just uh, straight away click on booking page and imagine a person called as uh, Selenia Gomez is going to schedule a booking at 10.30 a.m. So the name of the person is Selenia Gomez and this is the email address of Selenia Gomez Tarbuck123 at the rate gmail.com and uh, she's going to just write awesome. That's all. And let me just click on schedule. Okay, so a booking has been scheduled by a person called as Selenia Gomez for this session that is Hatha Yoga. And it is for 15 minutes that is from 10 10:30 a.m to 10 45 a.m so it is on july 28 2021 so let's have a look do we have a page concerning the same in notion so let me just refresh notion okay actually there was no need to refresh it the data arrived okay so this is the data we have hatha yoga we have the duration that is for 15 minutes we have the person's name and we have the person's email address now if you want to view this as a page open this as a page it can be also done in notion so you must be thinking how did i do it how did i manage to send the data from calendly to notion so here i have used an integration and automation software called as public connect that has integrated calendly and notion so let me show you how it's done. So in the new tab, just type pabli.com, p a b b l y.com, pabli.com, press enter. So this is the website of uh, pabli.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built my account. So let me just straight away click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Calendly to Notion. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. And let me just click on create. So basically, when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So what's the deal with the trigger window as well as the action window? Well, in the trigger window, usually the triggering software will come. For example, in this case, the triggering software is Calendly. When a booking or a schedule or an event is scheduled in Calendly, that is basically a trigger event. So that is why we are going to select the trigger or the choose app as Calendly. Calendly it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as invite created? Simply just click on connect. We are going with the new connection. Now here we have to enter the API key. So to get the API key, let's have a visit to Calendly. So I'm sorry, we have let's have a visit to Calendly. This is Calendly. Okay, so here I'm just going to click on integration. Okay, so in the integration, you will find the API key. I'm just going to copy this key and I'm going to paste it here. So this is my API key. I have copied it and I'm going to, I have pasted it also. After that, just simply click on save. So usually when we connect, we always find the webhook, webhook URL. And now in case of the webhook URL, you just copy that webhook URL and paste it into the triggering software. But in case of Calendly, we don't have to do anything. To actually integrate Calendly to um, Pabli Connect, all you have to do is just click on save and send test request. Okay, so it has given me a response. Okay, so this is the ID of the integration. It is nothing uh, important. All it is showing that it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is we are going to make one more dummy booking. So let me just go to home. Okay. And once again, I'm just going to go to the Hatha Yoga booking page. And uh, we are going to book or schedule the event on the booking will be made on 27th. 27th, let's say from 11.30 a.m. Oh, let's go with uh, 11 a.m. And let me just click on confirm. And this time a person called as uh, Lai Jamo Rally is making the booking. 
So the name is Lijam O'Reilly and the email is lijam123 word at the rate gmail.com. So again, uh, we can just add a random description. Okay. Red yoga. Red yoga pants. And mat. Okay, so this was really redundant. We didn't have to do it, but pants. And let me just click on schedule event. So the confirmation has been made by a person called as uh, uh, Nigel O'Reilly, and uh, the event is on uh, Hatha Yoga, and it has been scheduled from 11 a.m. to 11:15 a.m. Okay, excellent. So let's have a look since Pabli Connect is integrated with Calendly. Has Pabli Connect captured the details of this invitee? Yes, it is showing the invitee. The event as invitee created. The event type as 101. It is a 15 minutes event. The event name is Hatha Yoga, of course. And let's have a look. Now, if you are thinking what is Ryan Glassclaw, so Ryan Glassclaw is the owner of uh, this account. Okay, so this is the name of the owner, Ryan Glassclaw. If I can show you, okay, so as you can see, this is the name of the owner, Ryan Glassclaw. And uh, let's observe uh, the rest of the details. So this is the time, okay, that is uh, 27th. Okay, so this is the start time and uh, then we have uh, the rest of the details. Where are the rest of the details? Yes, we have the person's name. Okay, and this is the person's e email. So we have got both these details. Excellent. Now what we are going to do here is we are going to create a page in Notion from the data that we have received from Calendly. And this is how you can do it. In the action window, we are going to select the choose app as Notion. Notion it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as create a page and simply just click on connect. So let's go with the new connection and in the new connection, we have to enter the token. So follow my steps to uh, get the token. It's practically a bit complicated. So first of all, how about we start from scratch? So I'm going to create a new table and before we create a new table, how about we create a workspace and the name of the workspace is uh, data from Calendly. Of course, you can give any name according to your According to your choice, it's totally on you. I'm just giving data from Calendly. And uh, I prefer a table. Table in line. Okay. Now, how about we give the name table 101. So this is the table name table 101. Then we have the name. That's totally fine. Okay. In case of tags, how about we enter email. Okay. And multi-select, how about we name it as email. Okay. Then we have uh, event. The event was Hatha Yoga. Okay, so let's keep it as text only. Okay, and then the time. Date time. Date or time. Okay, so the date time will be, I think, uh, in this format. Okay, so yeah, let's go with this format. Okay. And uh, what else? We also have to enter the name. Okay, so we already have this name field. So let's ignore that. We don't want this uh, column. Okay, so we can just delete this. Okay, so actually I'm happy with the uh, four columns. Okay, that's sufficient. One, two, three, four. Okay, then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that uh, the new one is always at the top. So I'm just going to delete the unnecessary rows. Okay, so the new one is at the top. So now we are going to integrate this particular page to Pabli Connect. So what we are going to do here is first of all, let me just click on settings on members In settings on members, you will find integrations, click on integrations. So these are the integrations that I have made. Now for your consideration, I'm going to create one more integration. Okay. And let me just uh, scroll down. This is the integrations page. Click on create new integration. How about we give a name to this integration? Uh, Calendly data. Calendly to Notion. So this will be the name of our integration calendly to notion. Okay. And let me just click on submit. Okay. So this is the secret that we want. Okay. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So the integration is far from over. Of course we have got the token, but there are many other things we have to do. First of all, we have to make sure that it's in a page format. So let's make it as open as a page. After that, go to share and make it shareable to web. Excellent. And after that, let's invite the integration. So the integration is currently to notion. Click on invite. I think we are ready. So let me just click on save. 
Okay, so we have integrated uh, Pabli Connect to Notion. Excellent. And by default, it is already showing the database. That is table 101. Excellent. So that was the name of the table that we had given. That is table 101. It is already showing here. Now we have to fill in all these fields. Email, event, date, name and content. So if you may remember, these are all the columns that we had built. Name, email, event and date. So let's start mapping one by one. So we have email. So this is the email. So let me just add the email. The email of the person was lijim 123 word at the gmail.com. The event was on Hatha Yoga and we have mapped it. Then this is the date. Now, if you don't understand where this data is coming, so this is the data that we have received from uh, Calendly Hatha Yoga. Okay, so this is the same data that we have uh, received from Calendly. Then we have the date. So this was the date, okay, and we have mapped it. Then we have the name of the person. So the name of the person was, uh, okay, so name of the person was Lai Chimur Riley. So let me just click on save and send test request to check if the data has been sent. Okay, so yes, the data has been sent. So let's have a look. So yeah, the data has arrived. We have Lai Chimur Riley. This is the email address. This is the event and this is the date of the event. Excellent. So the presence of uh, this uh, data shows that we have a successful integration between Calendly and Notion. Now, before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Calendly to Public Connect and then you integrated Public Connect to Notion. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Calendly and Notion. Excellent. So not just these two apps, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Public Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate public.com. Also, the link of Public Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.